Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with today's episode, I want to first thank you very much for all the nice uh, comments, likes and views over the last couple of days. Thank you very much for your support, my friends, very appreciated. So make sure that you also moon up the likes in this video, it's very appreciated and also subscribe to the channel. We are doing daily TA videos on Bitcoin and altcoins and of course also when we are trading then always we're gonna put our positions in there so make sure to tune in here every day and also to subscribe to the discord trading chat is for free everyone is welcome and if you have twitch also to my live streams over on the twitch channel all right guys so we can start right now with bitcoin we have currently still nice and steady trading sideways movements here on the Bitcoin price as expected. Most likely we're going to stay here between 11 to $11,500 for the next couple of days. Probably towards the end of the week we're going to see some price action here on Bitcoin to where we're going to head to next. But till then I think the action right now is in the altcoins because there currently we are seeing really nice performance especially on some altcoins like uh, Bancor. As you can see currently we are still respecting here this green support line. We are creating new all time highs every day currently we are breaking here this $2 resistance. Although if we have a look here at band is going absolutely through the roof. We are currently at $5.60. We took out also this high that we had here at $5.30. So incredible moves here also on band. Even Chainlink uh, yesterday reached here. Let me quickly zoom out a bit. Almost $10. This is really amazing if you compare to where we were at the beginning. Close to $1. And right now we already have... 10x here on Chainlink. So this is really incredible this coin how it's performing and I think also on Chainlink we have a real great performer and also for the future I think it is very wise to hold some of those coins because the parabolic phase still has to come. So these coins will perform even better in my opinion especially as soon as Bitcoin is breaking all time high of 20 Okay, we also have some other coins that currently are going through the roof. We cannot cover all of them, but as you can see, the run is still intact. And that's why I still are in bull mode here for Bitcoin, even though a correction is still in the cards. But if this correction is not happening in the next couple of days, and we're going to break out here from $11,500 to the upside and retest $12,000, then in my opinion, this bigger correction that could happen towards 10 k we gonna see maybe at the end of the bull run so you definitely don't want to miss out so as long as we're not seeing any kind of bearish breakout or we're gonna lose some important supports we are still in bullish mode and the trend is your friend so that means that we should see continuation from this pattern that we are in currently even though there are some warning signs so don't be surprised if suddenly the price starts to drop Take it as an opportunity to buy cheaper in or to scale in long positions. I wouldn't necessarily short it even though it is possible that we're going to see this correction and even in that case we would have like a 10% drop in the price and if you go for example on Bybit, BTArt or Femex with a 10x leverage you can double your money. And now here in the one hour you can see that currently all the moving averages came together and we bounced successfully from it so far only if we are seeing that the 20 and 50 moving average are dropping below the 200 in the one hour then this could signal that we could see a potential correction here towards 10k but as long as we are trading here with all the moving averages above the 200 this in theory means that we're still on the way to the upside and we should always try to buy this dip and take it as an opportunity to ride it up the thing is only that currently we have still this $11,500 resistance up here currently is almost at $11,600. So as long as this resistance is not broken and we are not able to build up support above potentially also above 12k, there is still a high chance that we will get rejected there. So in this time frame it looks like that we are trying again to push to the upside. We have RSI and Stochastic currently getting in overbought condition. Same like the Bollinger Band is now overshooting to the upside. MACD is also shifted to the upside so here it looks like that the bulls are trying again to push towards $11,500. 
And if we switch over to the four hour time frame, you can see that finally we were able to close a four hour candle above the 20 moving average, which is a very bullish sign. So this would mean that in the next couple of hours, we will see this 11,500 to $11,600 retest, which is very likely to come. We are just starting to trade above the 15, the RSI, all the stochastic is now shifted to the upside in the four hour time frame. And if we have a look here into the Bollinger Band, you can see that once more we were squeezing in this tiny channel with a top of 11,400 and here the bottom of $11,000. So here we are coming to a potential breakout to the upside or to the downside. So watch out in case that we are able to break 11,430. Also here we could overshoot the Bollinger Band to the upside quite significantly and there we have to look if we were able to break eleven thousand five hundred dollar and also we could have here a bullish cross in the MACD in the next couple of hours so this could fire up the price to the upside even more and let me quickly pull out also the cme chart because yesterday we were dropping here below the support line of 11,380 and as you can see currently we are starting to fight this uh, potentially new resistance so yesterday we had a couple of hours testing this resistance which before was support but we weren't able to break through and right now we are trying again to push through this resistance here and here is where we have to see if we're able to go back into this uh, pattern here which could end up in a bull flag but at the moment it is still possible that this is a bearish pattern so a rising wedge which could break out to the downside and in that case i would target here the 200 moving average at nine thousand eight hundred dollar where also more or less the future gap is lining up that we have but if we are able to push through here and also close for our candles again above eleven thousand five hundred dollar here on the cme prices then i think we could be in for a potential breakout also through twelve thousand dollar because this would mean that we are still very strong and the bulls are still here to defend these prices and in theory we should then head towards 14 and 16 thousand dollar before any kind of correction especially if we have a look here on some altcoins which currently are really performing pretty well and we still didn't see these crazy like 100x 200x moves within one two days so this is what happened in 2016 2017 and i think we still didn't come to this phase so these big big gains are still to come and it's just a matter when bitcoin is gonna create new all-time highs and going extreme parabolic when fomo is kicking in again then we're gonna see also in all these altcoins a real big move to the upside every day so what we are seeing right now is really just the beginning just a little piece of what we have seen in 2017 so let's go back to the bitstamp chart and uh, let's open up also the daily time frame if we zoom out here you can see that we are still right at the top of this rising channel that we were in here since now many weeks and as long as we are not able to break here this main resistance like we did on the weekend here and also build up a support above we could in theory see a correction towards the 20 daily or even 50 daily moving average before we're gearing up for another move here to break the main resistance also to cool off a little bit more here the rsi and also stochastic and the thing is that we could be in a potential head and shoulders pattern here so if this pattern is gonna play out in theory we could see then the price again moving towards 10k so towards our bearish target of around ten thousand dollar because also here is where the cme gap is lining up but this head and shoulders pattern could only play out if we're gonna lose also this ten thousand five hundred dollar support so in case that we're dropping below ten thousand five hundred dollar then this maybe could be a good short opportunity if you want to ride it down towards our targets and then swap it over maybe into a long position and buy also some cheaper bitcoin and altcoins but as long as we are not seeing a breakout here to the downside this pattern is not confirmed so this is just a theory in case that we would lose here the support first of around eleven thousand and then ten thousand five hundred dollar and even if we would drop towards these price levels down here we will still remain bullish and we would also still remaining above the 200 daily moving average which currently is at eight thousand seven hundred fifty so we are still far away from this moving average which is a very bullish sign so even if you see the price dropping to those levels make sure that you take it as an opportunity and never 
panic sell at those price levels because this could be really the last time that we're going to see Bitcoin at those price levels and we can also have a final look here into the Bollinger Band in the daily because as you can see we are still trading in the upper area so also here in theory we could reach easily this $12,000 area so let's see if we're able to push through and also build up a support above and also if we're not able to push through or are getting rejected here watch out here for the middle area which is currently also at around $10,500 because if here we're going to lose this support then potentially we would go towards our bearish targets to close the CME gap and have the perfect long and buy opportunity there not only on Bitcoin but most likely also into some altcoins because if Bitcoin is dropping it will take down also many of the altcoins so I think that's it for Bitcoin at the moment my friends if something crazy is going on I will go live over on Twitch or make an update video here on YouTube so make sure to subscribe to the channel tune in every day and for the end i want to point out that on gold currently we are seeing a breakout from two thousand dollar and a couple of days ago i mentioned you that you can trade gold on femex if you need a femex account you find the sign up link down below here with my link you can get some sign up bonus and also you support the channel so make sure to register to femex if you want to trade gold bitcoin and other assets with my link and you see that we had here this nice breakout from this ascending triangle and currently we are seeing a nice performance here also on gold so if you're interested in trading gold then femex is your exchange because here also with your bitcoins and cryptos you can trade gold so make sure to use femex if you want to trade gold and here also you can open up multiple accounts because here you can do sub accounts so that means that for example only on gold or only on bitcoin you can do separate trades you can go for example long you can go short at the same time so make sure that you use also femex if you want to trade with leverage especially when trading with gold so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you very much for watching also if you have a favorite altcoin that you want me to analyze then put it down below here in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our 10 dollars worth of bitcoin giveaway the subscription video is popping up at the end of this video so make sure to go over there put a comment and your bitcoin address to participate on our weekly 10 dollars worth of bitcoin giveaway we're gonna select the winner at the end of this week so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye